Hey y'all, today I'm going to be sharing what I got in my Goodwill blue box. I buy a ton of these blue boxes. They did up the price as we all know. So this is the thrifty apparel box. It's 15 bucks plus $5 shipping. I'm really, really happy with what they sent me. My past few boxes have been fire. So if you're interested in what came in my Goodwill blue box, just keep watching. So I did open this already just because I have no patience. So I do know what they sent me. Uh, I don't think anything in here is like a big bolo, but I do think there's several things in here that will sell for $20 and I paid 20 bucks shipped for the entire box. So that's a win for me. So I've never heard of this brand before. Let me know if you guys have ever sold it, if I can find it. So this is Sheila and this is a size large. It's a really pretty dress. It's sleeveless and floral. And it's about knee length, but I think it's a really pretty dress. I'm hoping to get about $20 for that one. So I actually got this brand in my last Goodwill Blue Box. I'm assuming that some boutique or something donated a bunch of this brand. Uh, it's White Mark. And these are a size 1X. And they're like palazzo pants. They're brand new. So just a pair of pink, stretchy wide leg pants and they have this design at the bottom i did literally just see there is a stain right here so new with defects i guess but i saw several 20 dollars comps for these white mark new palazzo pants so i think i can still get somewhere around that for them um okay this is a mossimo which is target size small this is just a black elastic waist long maxi skirt. I'm going to use the word modest in the title. That one's probably closer to a 15. If it doesn't end up selling, I may just bring it to Play-Dohs. Um, so we'll see about that one. Um, this is something I was happy to see. Polo Ralph Lauren size large. It's just a men's purple polo. Um, it is purple and yellow, so I will use LSU as a keyword in that. Uh, I have sold these polos for like 20 to $25 uh, really successfully in the past. This is a brand new bra. Has some cute little mesh. Uh, this is Excursion and it says it was $27. I think this is Target, I'm not sure, but I'm hoping I can get close to 20 for that. Um, this is something I've sold before in the past. It's at the Old Navy Boyfriend Fit. Let me find, I feel like I can't find tags today. Yeah, Old Navy Boyfriend Fit. It's just a white long sleeve button down, 2X. I'm hoping for about $20 for that. This is a brand new shirt and the brand is not great, uh, but I think the style is really cute. So it's no boundaries and like the retail price was only $11 for this. Uh, I think it's really cute though, especially for Valentine's Day coming up. It's just a cardigan. I like the colors, so I think that'll do well. Um, okay, these are a pair of limited pants. These are a size eight. I feel like I'm doing a great job today of saying sizes. Usually I'm like terrible at that. Uh, these are just a pair of really nice pants. Um, I don't know, I'm debating on listing these. Um, I may send them to Thread Up where I may try Style Encore first. We'll see, let me know what you would do. Uh, these are the Banana Republic Sloan in a too petite, you guys, I have a lot of this kind of like career pants stuff. These are crop too, it looks like. Um, I've gotten a ton of it in my thread up, like rescue boxes. Whenever I go to the bag sales, I find a lot of it. And I'm kind of tempted just to send it all to thread up because it's just kind of taken over my inventory at this point. Uh, this is a brand I've never sold Hearts of Palm, size extra large. Just a tropical long sleeve shirt so we'll see I, I may or may not list that i think i'm gonna bring these to once upon a child size large 
These look really big for a kid's large, but they say 1214. I don't think they're a women's 1214. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm probably going to bring those two once upon a child. Um, this is a dress and it's brand new with tags, but I've never heard of this before. It kind of looks cheap, just to be honest with you. So I may just send this to Play-Dohs because the style is really cute. Uh, ivory cream. It's a cute little dress and it has like this polka dot tool at the bottom, mini dress. So we'll see, Play-Dohs may take that from me. And here is the last thing, not too exciting, uh, Gloria Vanderbilt. And these are size 20W, pair of white pants. Um, I need to go over this stuff and look for flaws. Usually a lot of stuff in my blue boxes doesn't come with flaws. Um, so that was everything. So yeah, no major bolos. Uh, probably nothing that will sell for more than $25. But I do feel pretty confident that I do have several pieces, a lot of new at tags pieces, that will sell for around that $15 to $20 range. And once I sell something for $20, I make most of my money back anyway. Thank you to everyone who watches all of these unboxings, I really enjoy buying these boxes. I am trying to buy more thread up boxes, but you guys, I am just not clicking on the thread up website in the right amount of time. Um, I do want to buy several more boxes because you guys know I don't keep a death pile and I've been finding that I'm able to list more, even though I've been saying that I'm more of like a part-time reseller now and I'm trying to do more content creation like here and on TikTok and Instagram. I'm finding that I still have time to list a lot. So I'm really running out of things on the weekends to list. Usually Monday through Friday, I can list everything. Uh, and then I run out of stuff on the weekends. So I'm thinking about adding more thread up boxes to my mix of videos. Um, and mainly because I need more inventory as well. Let me know if you know of any other website I should try for mystery boxes. I'm not really interested in liquidation sites like Joe Marr. Just not really into that. But if you know any other that sell pre-owned clothing mystery boxes that you think I'll love, make sure to leave me a comment down below. And I will see y'all tomorrow for a new fun video. Bye, y'all.